So, Rob Coley. Oh, a little bit uh, oversteered through there. Could have straight lined that a little bit easier. He's gone wrong way. Rob Coley now has recorrected himself. He did that during the top 12 as well. So, Rob Coley, will the frustration show? Will the anger, will the aggression come out of the man from Wanganui? This is where Rob Coley needs to keep his head together. The split is three, four, three, four seconds down on where he needs to be. He's well off the money. The incorrect rotation, the extra lap he did around Eltham Island, costing him plenty. Rob Coley, he has held his head together, but that is gonna be a time he'd rather forget. 51.041, he went wrong way in the middle of that lap, did an extra circulation around the Eltham Island, and that threw plenty of time on it. He got away with it in the top 12, in the first a lot of eliminations. He did exactly the same thing. He got the exact part, the same exact part of the track the wrong way, recorrected himself, posted a time, but has really thrown that out. This will take a little bit of pressure off the likes of Blake Bryant, Sam Newdick, Glenn Head and Peter Cowie. So Peter Cowie now will be the next boat to face the starter. His best time was a 44.998. And uh, interestingly, Peter Cowie not used to coming into a top five uh, as the second slowest boat. This is a man who has uh, won and done so much in the world of jet sprinting over the course of years, uh, but he won't let this bother him. He'll just keep the race face on. So this is gonna be um, a very, very exciting here. Peter Coey now in the NZ machine, reversing off the trailer. Louise Blythe, the new navigator for the 2017 season. Sitting in right alongside him. i remind you that Peter Coey came in here with a 44.998. Rob Coley blew it out at a time that he doesn't want to know about. All right, Peter Coey launching off the line. 572 cubic inches of a big, big, small block. So, as you heard, Peter Coey's had uh, oiling issues with the breather had a few issues, the boat just a little bit too tight, they've been trying to loosen it up. And uh, the fresh water here at Riverside Jet Sprint Facility just makes that a little bit harder to tweak up. So Peter Cowie on the split, that's his uh, roundabout, the best split there with a 28.3. So really on the money for a red hot lap, lines it up, shoots straight towards commentary into that right hand and now try and find that channel that'll take him home. Peter Coey there with a 44.620. He's gone 0.3 quicker. He's sitting on the top of the timesheet at the moment. Oh, this is getting exciting. Jeez, I tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, if this doesn't get you excited, you might have to go to the doctor because you could well be dead. Jeez, I tell you what, we'd like to thank the Falcon Electrical, the Tumu ITM, the LJ Hooker and SMB Productions and Industrial Manufacturing. They have, uh, I hope the guys up here on the hill have had a fantastic day up there, the corporate hospitality, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, the other side of the track there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Are you enjoying the day, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I'll tell you what, come on, let's do a little bit better than that. I barely heard it. I'm 400 metres away. It needs to be louder. Have you had a good day? Yes. That is much better. All right. We are now waiting for Sam Newdick to make his approach to the start line. Peter Coey just trying to get his boat up onto the trailer. Sam Newdick being given the direction to get the Sun Tough PSP building brand machine off the trailer. Glenn Mason doing the navigational duties. Top five, this is gonna cut him to three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Newdick now off the line. And this is looking blistering. Sam Newdick been playing, he's about 72 cubic inches down on the engine size of Peter Cowie. 
and an identical boat to the boat that Peter Coey runs. It is a Sprint Tech. This particular boat out here, with Sam Munich, has 500 cubic inches of Kendrick injection. And, uh, well, this young man can drive. He's won a couple of New Zealand championships. Second in the world, the split is spot on with a 28.2. So they've just got to keep this momentum up. They will continue. Glenn Mason doing the navigational journeys. Now, in that final shoot for the line, squeeze the pedal. Nice run, 44.465. Quicker than Peter Coey by point, uh, 0.16. So, that was a ripping run from Sam Nudick. Sam Nudick has gone 0.4 quicker than his previous best time. So now, as you might expect, Rob and Ange Coley with their wrong way are sitting on the bubble. And I dare say the bubble will burst. Blake Bryant, he will be the next boat out. Kate Hugerbrug is the navigator here. 512 cubic inches of LS GM Motorsport Power Plant. This boat produces over a thousand horsepower. Blake Bryant, the brand new package this season has not been quite happy with the way the boat's been handling, not quite happy with the way that the impellers and the jet unit have been creating traction. The time that he needs to be is going to be a 44.6. So Blake Bryant came in here second quickest with a 44.679. Oh, Blake Bryant looking great, heading up into that hairpin. A little bit wide out of there for Mike. Didn't bog it down. Didn't cost himself too much time. Into that crosswash now. Didn't unsettle the Stinger Hull too much at all. Blake Bryant, this flowing track really suiting this Stinger Hull. Really wide on the exit of there. The split at 28.3 was absolutely spot on ski. Now lining it up straight towards Coventry. Nice run out of that part of the track. Keeps the momentum flowing. Where will Blake Bryant go? Blake Bryant will go into P2 with a 44.506 P2 for Blake Bryant. Wow. Peter Coey, multiple world champion, is now sitting on the bubble. Oh, Peter Coey on the bubble. Ladies and gentlemen, last week Peter Coey was beaten, the well, last round Peter Coey was beaten by Sam Newdick in Peter Coey's own boat. Peter Coey now sitting on the bubble in P3. This is almost, I can't remember the last time this happened. Somebody might need to remind me, but that will be the end of Rob and Ange Coley out of mouth pressure to you. These mouth fresh super baits are throwing up plenty. Glenn Head, the fastest man on the water here at Hastings here this weekend, has posted a time. Uh, I'll just get back to you on that. I've got about a 1,000 pieces of paperwork here, and I've lost... Uh, oh, no, I keep throwing them out. That's why things aren't going... Well, he's posted the fastest time by far anyway. So, Glenn Head, Olivia Van Dersen, twin turbo, eases it, squeezes it. Whoa, he's launching hard, ragged. No, pretty smooth through there. I thought he was going to oversteer it after that right-hander into the flip-flops. Now into the all-important mouth fresh hairpin. Gets in and out of there very nicely. Carried maximum amount of speed. Glenn Head and Olivia Van Dersen looking fantastic out there at the moment. This twin turbo got rid of the gremlins from previous rounds. A split at a 27.6. Glenn Head is absolutely motoring at the moment. And there is a big fade out. Glenn Head, what has happened here? He will be absolutely gutted. Peter Coey saved by the hair of his chitty chin chin. Well, everybody looking around, questioning, wondering. We will get somebody down onto the ramp to find out what has gone on there with Glenn Head and Olivia Van Dersen. So, this is provisionally how it is going to look. P3 was Peter Coey by the hair of his chinny chin chin going into the top three. Blake Bryant 
and fast as Sam Newdy. So not too sure what has gone on there. Mike Simonson is about to duck down and have a bit of a look and uh, come back to me with some information. But that is big news. Sam, uh, sorry, Glenn Head not having a great run of the 2017 season. Blew it out in the top five, wrong way at uh, Merry Merry. Blew it out, fell out of the track in uh, Whitra not long ago. Gets into the top five and obviously some issues there. Clearly the fastest man of the day got down into the high 42 second mark. So uh, we are about to find out what's going on. We've got our investigative reporter down there, Mike Simonson. And uh, he's just going to wander up here. There is disappointment over the face. All right, now it is sub three. No, in fact, it isn't. This is a sponsor ride, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie Bryant, the Altham sponsor ride with Greg Reardon in Adrenaline. Greg Reardon out there with a sponsor ride. So this is an absolute crack. It just got a bog down out there. So Peter Cowie in the uh, unlimited category is 